All right, we're joined by Augustana head coach Tom Billiter and Tyler Reimersma. Coach, opening statement, then we'll open for questions. Oh, it's a fun basketball game. Um, they're a very good basketball team. I thought our our length on the perimeter um, helped us defensively. Uh, to, to hold a team like that, as good as they are, to four, to four for 24 from three, probably a big difference in the game. Um, we've played them before in the past where they were – 20 for 30. I mean, they can really shoot that basketball and they can shoot it from deep. And thought we did a nice job defensively on them. They play hard. Uh, they keep coming at you. And I thought, you know, we had a chance to kind of go a little flat about the 15 minute mark of the second half. And they got it down to four and then two. And I don't know, did they take a lead? I can't even remember, but they never took a lead. But uh, Ty came in and, and hit a couple uh, key shots. So to sum it up, I'm, my head's still spinning a little bit, but great college basketball game. Uh, hats off to Upper Iowa. They, they, they had a great year. And uh, proud of my guys. And, and uh, not saying I, we're very much looking forward to Tuesday, but we very much respect our opponent uh, too. But we are, are very excited about the upcoming game. All right, questions? Coach, I, you know, I guess you, you kind of said it already in the first half. Defensively, you guys really locked them down. I know you shot pretty well in the first half. Uh, but they don't, I think they were like 30%, I think, in the first half. Uh, how, how big was that sort of in getting your guys' offense? Yeah, you know, that I thought you, you, that's a great point. I mean, really and truly, we were up nine at the half and went in there thinking, was kind of thinking we should be up even a little bit more. You know, I mean, they, they guarded us too. Um, you know, Trent, to, to hold a team that offensively talented to 33% for a game, um, that, that's how we go. You know, we, I, what I said from the day one of this team, we guard and we rebound. And if you do those two things, you're going to be in most of your games. You know? and, and we figured out how to get that thing through the hole uh, when we had to in the second half. But we guard and we rebound, and I thought we did a good job on them. They're a very talented team, and um, you know, I thought we did a very nice job of, of switching. We switched up a lot. We did a lot of things that we maybe not, not even normally do, but tonight we had to do them. And um, putting Adam Dykeman on Jarees Williams, I thought his length and uh, what have you really bothered Jarees. Um, you know, we, we had Ty switching. Uh, we had guard ball screens up top several different ways. Putting Isaac back on Hilmer uh, the last 12 minutes of that half really helped us after he was kind of, you know, finding his, his rhythm pretty well. So we just kept switching things up and trying to keep them off balance. And you're right. I thought, you know, our, the whole defensive effort both halves are the only reason we won. Ty had a great point coming up the stairs. He goes, Coach, we used to lose to them 105 to 100 or beat them 98 to 92. That's how our games always were. Uh, that was a good point by him. So, you know, to be 65-60, those were two teams really playing hard. Yeah, uh, you had ran into a little bit of foul trouble there. Huh? Oh, a little bit. It was like herding cats. How did you manage that? You know what? Akoy, Akoy came in and really gave us some really good minutes. Uh, Bennett helped us, you know, and then, you know, until he did follow up, but these guys played very well with three, you know, Adam and Ty, I thought did a, a yeoman's job of playing with three and four fouls for as many minutes as we could and give our bench credit, Trent, because we did keep them on the bench longer than I ever wanted to, but we had to keep them on there for a little bit. And as long as they didn't get the lead back, I was going to try, you know, if it got down to two or one, I'd put them back in, but as long as it was four or more, I was trying to let them go as long as they could. And we got to about six, five minute mark before we had to get Adam back in there with four. So. Tell me, how about the spark on the bench? I mean, what did, what did you see from those guys? Yeah, I think I think the bench was great. Akoi came off. He gave us. He hit a, a tough mini there too. I think, um, but just defensively, I think Bennett and Akoi did a great job. Eric even came in, gave us some good minutes. And just like the, those one two minute spurts, they might not seem like much to a lot of people, um, but but it's great to just give give us all a break kind of. And they come in there. It's tough coming off the bench after sitting for maybe twenty minutes, um, something like that, and, and coming in there and being effective. So they did a great job today. Uh, proud of everybody. Coach, you mentioned the glass. I mean, you know, they, they were shooting much better there in the second half, much more efficient offensively. But I feel like you sort of limited the chances by, by still holding a, a rebounding edge there. How big was the glass? You know, uh, it's another good point because they had 11 offensive boards, but they had, I want to say, seven in the first half, mm -hmm. uh, second half. And they're, they shoot deep, you know, so those balls do go far. That's, you know, it's not always easy to get every board when a team shoots threes as deep as they do. Uh, so I thought, you know, the glass, uh, even though it's 44 to 37, only having them get four offensive boards in the second half, obviously, key. And we got 13 offensive boards. And that's what we do. And this guy's one of the best in the country at it, you know, of just getting offensive boards and keeps the ball alive. He's got great balance and hands, and that's about any smart. You know, you see, he kind of has a feel for where that ball's going. He does a great job of getting them for us. So, um, you know, we, we, I would, I, I just think it was a really solid game. You know, I don't know if we were, I thought our defense was really good, but offensively, I didn't think we were great, but I thought we did the things we had to do to always keep the lead, and we rebounded, limited their second shots, and if you look, they're, they didn't get a lot of transition baskets e either, and they get going. Their wings will get out, and Smolt and, and Jarese will shoot from five feet behind that three-point line. They do it a lot, and we were picking them up pretty well early and not letting them get very many. You saw the one he hit to keep them in there. I mean, he misses that game's over a little earlier, and he just buries one and dills right on him. You know, they can do that, and we've seen them do it. They've done it to us for years. With the defense 
obviously you harp on that all season long, but it seemed like the second half, especially one of the more physical games you've been in this year. Very exciting. Yeah, but I thought, you know, both teams are physical, and it gets frustrating at times. Officials, I thought, did a pretty good job of – of keeping it, I, I thought it was, they controlled it. It was hard as two teams really get after each other, but I thought it was a very well consistently called game. I mean, you know, I, I might have had a meltdown moment when they called the three, you know, when, when Hilmer got the three free throws, he probably fouled. I mean, you know, we're only human, but overall, I, I tip my hat to the officials. I thought that was a well officiated game. Any final questions? Coach, early thoughts on, uh, on Tuesday's matchup? Hmm. You guys got enough film? Got about an hour here? Film. Think about that. That's the old days, huh, Tanner? Um, they have a culture of winning in, at this time of the year, and, and I really respect them for that. We do, too. Um, I think it's going to be a great basketball game, and we're just I'm – really, I'm really looking forward to it. But not because I respect their program, but I, I think Ty would – you know, this is, this is what – these are the summer hours you put in and how hard you work in the fall, and this is what you do to do is to get in these moments and have a situation. I hope we have a great crowd. Um, and I think you're going to see two excellent basketball teams getting after each other. I know this, it'll be a war, um, but I have great respect for Ben and his team, and, um, we're, and I have great respect for my team. And, and proud to be in this game, but, but excited to be in it and, and uh, happy to be in it. Obviously, vastly different team from the ones you faced in 15 and 16, but is there anything you can take just from how they play the overall? If, if you watch um, overall, my opinion, they control tempo. Uh, they've got the best player, you know, they've got one of the best players in the country, best guards in the country that can just take over anytime something's going sour. He can, he can do it with passing assists. He can do it, he can, you know, he's, he's a very complete, very solid, very strong player. Um, you know, they don't have a whole lot of weaknesses. Every guy on the floor is pretty skilled. Um, but I, I think we have some similarities too. You know, I do. And I think it'll be a really good matchup. And I, like I said, I, I think, uh, you know, we'll do some things. I think that can bother them a little bit, too. So I think it'll be a, a very, very good basketball game. But it'll be, it'll be a war. Uh, they're good. There's no doubt about it. And they're good in March. How, how important is it to have this game here in front of your fans? Uh, I think that's super important, and especially I think we'll have a great crowd of uh, uh, students, too. We're coming off spring break here. So I think we should get a, a lot larger turnout with, for students. I think that'll be big. And, and uh, just like this is a big game for the whole community. We had somebody come in and talk to us kind of earlier just about how, how kind of a big moment this is for everybody. So I think it'll be awesome kind of having uh, everybody here. And it's definitely a home court advantage. Nothing like playing here. Uh, you had a I think, unfortunately, Mark, they like playing here too. <laughs> Northwest Missouri, they're pretty good in this building too. That'll be a good, it'll be a good matchup. It'll be a good game. Um, well, we, we changed up our offense a little bit, got a lot of high post touches. So when, I, when I'm at, at that position, uh, definitely a lot of opportunities to distribute. Um, they do a lot of switching as well. So if I can have the ball and our guards can, can go out and set screens for each other, um, some miscommunications, uh, slip to the basket. Uh, it, they're pretty easy passes, honestly. They, they do all the hard work. I just get the assist there. But um, definitely, definitely kind of just kind of our system that, that helped us there. All right, thanks, guys. Hey, thanks, you guys, for being yeah, here. Appreciate you. it. Hope to see you Tuesday.